Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Nali aka Awotero and I'm here to give you guys a reading. We're going to tap into this energy. We're going to see what is coming towards you in the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to see what are the overall messages and the outcomes. But before we get started guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the roles as need be. And if the reading resonates and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. I feel like I've repeated that already. Anyways, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. <clears throat> and guys, don't forget to check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs so you can get additional messages and clarity regarding this reading. All right, if I repeated myself somewhere along the spiel, guys, please forgive me. I don't know why I just lost my train of thought there. I'm like, damn, did I say that already? But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take that because I was not ready. So let's go. I feel a little bit like mind boggled. Somebody here is a little bit confused. Somebody is not knowing what to do. Someone's really stuck in their thoughts here. But let's see here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall energy coming towards my Capricorn next 24 to 48 hours here? First card that came out is Embrace. Moving on. Divine Timing. And then I have at the bottom of the deck, expansion. So something is changing here. No wonder I'm kind of like in the in a loopy energy here. Someone, Something is changing here. There is an ending that has come for majority of my Capricorns here. But this ending brings healthy new beginnings is what I'm really getting. Okay. It all happened in divine timing. Everything has a higher purpose. Whatever it is that you were dealing with or whoever it is that you were dealing with, Capricorn, and something came to an end, you must understand that everything happens for a reason. Embrace this peace, embrace these changes, and embrace this current state of being. Because what's getting ready to happen to, to you or for you, it's an expansion. It's a purpose. It's a pursuit of bigger and better and greater endeavors that you've never, ever imagined. Things are about to change in your life in such a way. You're going to look back a year from now. You're going to be like, damn. Exactly what Nelly said is exactly what's going on. My luck has changed. I am going to be the happiest I have ever been. I'm going to be the healthiest on all levels that I've ever been. I'm going to be in a beautiful, committed relationship in a very financial, stable situation. Some of you guys are getting ready to sign on your new house. Someone is getting ready to buy a new car. It's everything is just changing and it's changing for the better. Everything that you have gone through in the past couple of years has been all worth every single tear that you have shed, every single pain that you have gone through for the moment that you're getting to come through right now. What's getting ready to happen to you, it is well-deserved and it's because you have worked your ass off for it and God is giving you exactly your wish fulfillment. So it all happens in divine timing for you. So let's see here. Universe, archangels, a spirit, angel, guides, and guardians. What is the overall energy here for my Capricorns, please? What is going on with my Capricorns? Universe, archangels, a spirit, angel, guides, and guardians. What is going on with my Capricorn, please? There was a decision that was made here in the recent past, Capricorn. This could have very well been you or this could have been someone that you were dealing with. But there was a breakup that happened. For a, lot, for a lot of you guys, this has been a very painful breakup. You were so in love with this individual. You pictured yourself growing old with this person, even dying with this person, okay? If they would die, you would die. That's how big and immense this love was. You've been finding it very, very hard to let go of it. You've been find you feel like you've even been obsessing over the situation. Maybe for some of you guys, you've been stalking this individual. Now, remember, guys, if this is not you, this is your person. So reverse the roles as need be. Don't make them fit if they don't fit. But this is the thing, though. Somebody here has made a decision to walk away from a situation. Please let me tell you that the decision that was made, whether you made it or this person made it, it was all 
for divine intervention. It needed to happen. There was a change that needed to happen in this situation. This relationship was not healthy. It wasn't healthy. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of going back and forth. I feel like this individual made you fight a lot for their attention. This person made you run behind them, literally. Like they would, um, how can I put this? You would text them and it would take them forever to answer. You would try to look for them. You could never find them. They were always acting like they were too busy. It became an obsessive situation for you. At one point, I hate to say it this way and please forgive me, but you were actually literally feeling like you were going crazy because of the situation with this person. This person played uh, too many mind games with you. There was too much manipulation. And you needed to end the situation. And the good thing is that you did because everything had to happen for a reason. There was a lot of lessons that you learned in this relationship. And by you taking that initiative to let go of this person and cutting them out, there is a new offer that's coming in here. A very new offer that's coming in here. There's a new leap of faith that's getting ready to be taken here. You're gonna, you're, you took a leap of faith to move away from a toxic situation. And someone new is taking a leap of faith to come towards you and make you an offer. This person that's going to come into your life is going to be someone that's going to want to grow with you. Someone that's going to be committed to you. Someone that wants to embrace you. Someone that was divinely guided to come into your life at this point. Some of you guys may have already given up on love. You're at the point where you're like, well, I'm never going to fall in love again. I'm never going to find the right one. Shit. Let me tell you something. The right one is waiting for you right there. It's time for you just to let go of this past situation. Close out that chapter. Move on and move forward. What else is going on here for my Capricorn universe? Archangel spirit angel guides and guardians moving on was the best decision you have ever made spirit clearly told me that so this reading is because you moved on from this person that was the best decision you have ever made a year from now please remind yourself to go back and listen to this reading you're going to see how much this reading will resonate with you capricorn what are the messages here for capricorn universe knight of swords Four swords. So you needed some time here because you needed to rest and rejuvenate from some situation that was very crazy. There was a lot of shit going on. There was a lot of confusion. I really feel that somebody was being really manipulated in this situation. You needed to rest and rejuvenate. As you did that resting and rejuvenating, can I tell you something? You ended up opening up the doors to success here. You did a total transformation. You went from being this one person that put up with so much shit to being this one person that will never put up with anyone's shit okay you're no longer the same capricorn that you were a year from today okay a year from a past year okay um on, like in 2021 okay i'm sorry guys i'm sorry it's here. i'm doing a reading late so you're no longer the same person that you were last year. Today, you are a new person that embraces life in such a different way. And because you have decided to walk away from such a toxic situation, you're going to be very victorious. And you are going to be taking these beautiful leaps of faith. By moving on and moving forward, you are embracing a peaceful, more prosperous, abundant energy. And this was all in divine timing. Final message is here for my Capricorn universe. Queen of Cups, there's no love coming into your life, okay? This person is going to find you very sexy, very attractive. This person is not going to have the need to hide their true emotions for you. This person is going to want to open up and tell you how much they love you, how much how much they care about you, how attractive they think you are. You're going to have someone that's going to be doting on your every word. And this is a person that was always meant to be in your life. Final message here for my Capricorn, please. King of Swords. This person is coming in here speaking truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You will be able to trust this new person. This person will not have the need to lie to you or to lead you on or to give you any type of confusion because guess what? This person was meant to take a leap of faith with you, and that's exactly what they're going to do is take a leap of faith with you. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, and if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.